Billy back here, Brochip of the Nerds. I just finally watched The Perfectionist, and oh my gosh, it takes place in the Pretty Little Liars universe, so it's still the same universe, but, um, goodness, um, let me just say this, gotta be, it is an amazing show, and, um, so, my favorite character in Pretty Little Liars was Mona. She is back. She has her disassociative personality disorder where she looks in the mirror and she's talking to herself, but she thinks she's talking to another version of her or somebody else um, that looks like her. Her character is most interesting, and Allison comes to get a job at uh, Beacon Heights University as a teacher's assistant. And uh, really, it is interesting. Um, but um, Mona comes and brings her pie. Of course, it freaks Allison out because Mona has a knife. <coughs> and Mona gets the wrong idea, for, or Allison gets the wrong idea from the start. So they talk, and Allison um, is trying to help these students. Uh, Dylan's a trouble student who has been blackmailed by Nolan Hotchkiss to write his papers, and he also writes Ava's, who is played by Sophia Carson, amazing actress, one of my favorites, and her character is um, probably going to be one of the more interesting characters in this show. Um, so Nolan has all this dirt on Caitlin, Ava, and Dylan. He's actually with Ava, but his mom catches wind of this and forces surveillance on him. Um, he calls a mystery person, says he needs to meet them. In the meantime, we find out his sister, uh, Taylor Hotchkiss, uh, committed suicide while still in school. So they're like the chosen family, and a lot of pressure is put on them. The mom, I don't trust her, I don't like her. Um, I get that feeling that Mrs. Mrs. Hotch Hotchkiss is evil. Um, Ava lost her parents, they left uh, Dylan's. Um, boyfriend uh, is in the show and moves in so that's pretty cool it's, it's a good show so far um, Nolan tells Taylor because uh, Taylor's still alive she actually faked her death I guess that'll be explored later I'm sure in the story but um, she faked her death and um, she shows up meets her brother Nolan they're talking about the security and everything and they're trying to take down basically the Hotchkiss family, their mom, and uh, he says they need help from one more person. She says, no, it's too dangerous. He calls to meet this mystery person. So in the meantime, there's this kind of like party um, where it's more of a formal thing where people meet each other and Allison meets Nolan's mom. And uh, it goes okay, but like I said, she doesn't seem to be leery. In the meantime, security footage is following Ava around, and Nolan, Nolan gets wind of this and everything. Um, he goes into the woods and is out of range, because I guess the range only goes so far, so he's able to text or call without anyone being able to read his stuff or listen in. So he calls his sister and talks to her, is what we find out. So at the end of this episode, towards the end, Dylan, Ava... And Caitlin are in the woods talking, kind of joking about wanting Nolan dead and everything. And they kind of go on and they talk and go their separate ways. And um, Dylan's given an ultimatum. Either he tells the truth in 24 hours or he's expelled for writing the papers of his classmates. And Allison is looking out her window. She finds a thing underneath the wallpaper that says they're watching. So obviously um, somebody's trying to give a warning. So this mystery figure meets Taylor, or not Taylor, meets Nolan and pushes him off the building and he gets impaled by the fence. So obviously the person who was met, he thought he could trust, but he couldn't. He mistakenly tells uh, Nolan, or the guy, Nolan tells the guy, or what gal, that Taylor's still alive, so now, obviously, she's going to become his next target. So, there's Jeremy, kind of in the background. I don't trust him at all. That British student, he's just, he's there, but 
he seems like he seems very sketchy. So we'll see what happens. Very good episode. The cast is brilliant here. Uh, once again, my favorite character, Mona, is there. My of the new characters, I would say Ava is probably my favorite because she has like a tragic backstory, and there's a lot that could happen there. It's interesting to see what happens as they investigate the death of Nolan from the trailer. It looks like Allison's framed. So we will see what happens. Oh, one more disturbing detail. Allison's living in the home of Taylor, who committed suicide but really didn't. But I have a feeling she's being watched, too. The show gives you that creepy feel that the Pretty Little Liars did, but it is different, which I'm glad that they brought Taylor back episode one instead of dragging out for seasons and seasons. Like, if Allison was still alive, they have done it in the first episode, so we know she's alive. So now it's who in the world um, wants to target all these characters. Well, that's all I have for you today. Take it easy, guys. We'll see what happens next week.